Thank you for attending the press conference on this snowy Sunday night. Uh, we're here to announce that the Wisconsin Badgers have accepted a bid to the Capital One Bowl and will take on South Carolina on January 1st. Kickoff is set for noon Central Time on ABC. Um, this is the eighth time in 10 years that Wisconsin has played a January 1st or later bowl game. Um, we'll turn it over to our three seniors that are with me, Brian Wozniak, Desmond Southward, and Bo Allen. We will have uh, microphones on the sides of the room to ask questions, and we will have a press conference, teleconference with Gary Anderson to follow right at 8 o'clock. Uh, Desmond, if you want to give us an opening statement, and then we'll open it up for questions. Um, obviously, I speak for our entire team in saying that we're excited to go down to Florida and play um, in this bowl game against a big-time team in South Carolina. Uh, we fully pre um, expect to, to prepare you know, as, as, as well as we can this, in this next month and, and go down there and expect to Thanks, Des. We'll jump right into questions. Jesse. Uh, this is for all three of you guys. We talked a lot the last couple months about if you could win out, that maybe there'd be an opportunity to play in the BCS. And I know you guys were, you know, were upset that you didn't win at Penn State. But I'm, I'm just curious if you know what happened with Michigan State being Ohio State. Did that help soften the blow at all, that knowing you know, even if you would have won, you still would have wound up in this bowl? Go ahead, Bo. I don't know. You know, uh, obviously, I think I speak for all the seniors. Um, when I said it was just a tough loss, it's really kind of hard to wrap your head around something like that and get over it. Um, I don't know if, I don't, personally, I don't really look at it that way. Um, I think nothing can change the disappointment that we feel after, you know, that loss of Penn State and everything like that. But obviously, we got a, you know, a big time game and a big time opponent coming up. So, you know, we're not even really focused on the past. We're not going to dwell on that at all. And, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, you know, we're just going to prep moving forward. Um, I completely agree. I think that as a competitor, you go into every game that you want to win it. Um, I think that anytime you lose a game, you have to be disappointed, uh, no matter what other people are doing around the country. Uh, we want to win um, every single game that we, we line up and play. Um, so I speak for everybody when I say that. And, uh, just as both said, I mean, uh, obviously, with the way things played out, you know, I guess it can justify it for some people, but at the end of the day, all that matters is that we are um, into a pretty good bowl game against a really good opponent, and we're excited about that. Jeff, for all three of you guys, if you don't mind addressing it, um, you've been asked several times this year to think about making a statement by winning a certain game or beating a certain team. You're playing an SEC team, and it's a coach who I'm sure you're pretty familiar with. You guys have been around a long time. This is your last chance, but what sort of statement would that make to beat an SEC team that is ranked in the top ten of pretty much every poll at this point? Yeah, you know, just the opportunity to play a um, uh, high-caliber team, um, high-caliber SEC team. Um, I think it's going to be a great challenge for us. You know, it's it's a real good defense. You know, looking at the, uh, from the offensive perspective, the real good defense we're going up against. Um, you know, possibly get to play. You know, the number one player. You know, in the draft next year, which is going to be fun. Um, I think, you know, just looking at the Big Ten Conference versus the SEC, you know, it's fun just to have those rivalries there, um, compete, you know, get the Big Ten back up on top. And, uh, you know, I think with our preparation, with the seniors we have, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun game. Um, it's going to be a really competitive game. I think it's going to be a, in the trenches type game for both teams. I think, you know, we definitely want to make a statement. Uh, We've had a, you know, we have a really talented senior class that's had a lot of wins over the past, you know, four or five years, but we've kind of failed to get it done in the postseason, um, and we know that. So we want to go out on top. Um, we want to end, you know, our careers the right way, really. So we're going to prepare as hard as we can. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure that, you know, we're in our best shape for playing football, and we've done everything we can mentally and, and physically because we don't want to leave anything out there on the field. I honestly agree with both of these guys. Anytime you look at, obviously, the SEC for the past what, decade or so, they're, they've been the measuring stick. And um, obviously, to play a team like South Carolina, you get a chance to measure up and you know see what the big time conferences are like, are, are like uh, against each other. Uh, I think that's something you have to be excited for uh, when you look at the opportunity. Uh, I think on both sides of the ball, we'll be challenged in different ways. Uh, but just as both said, you know, in the next month or so, we'll, we'll, we'll look at every single way that we can get better. 